Good morning, you guys, and happy 2024. I hope that your new year has been going amazing so far. I am personally so excited for this new year and something that I love to do at the beginning of every year, like so many other people, is to set my goals for the year. I am personally somebody who loves to goal set. I love the start of a new year. I love a fresh start and just being able to set the intention for the year. So today I wanted to run you through all of my goals for 2024, categorize them, walk you through where my head's at for each of those goals, and and basically just set myself up for an amazing new year. So I'm gonna head over to the couch with my coffee and we can jump right into it. Okay, so for my 2024 goals, I'm actually using Notion for the first time to write down my goals, to track my goals throughout the year. And so I'll be walking you through that Notion throughout this video. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Okay, so for my goals in 2024, I've split them up into four separate categories, health, career and money, YouTube, and life. <laughs> so the first category that we will be walking through today is the health category. I also split this category up into three separate separate subcategories because I consider health to be made up of three separate areas. There's body, mind, and soul. So first let's talk body goals. And when I say body goals, I don't mean in terms of appearance. I mean, in terms of physical health and well-being. So the first goal that I have under body is to be active at least three times per week this year. I used to be a really active person, but over the last several years with working from home and not having any type of commute into an office, I've just really lost a lot of activity in my life and I'm really starting to feel the negative impacts of that. So something that I really want to make sure that I do this year is just to be really cognizant of how active I am being every single week. I am somebody who makes exercising a goal at the beginning of every year, but I can never stick to a routine. And I think it's because I set the goals too high to the point where they're really intimidating. It makes it a lot harder to maintain it. So something that I wanted to be really cognizant of this year was just to make this particular goal achievable because I think if I feel like I am achieving some type of milestone under this goal, I will continue it and I will continue to build on it. The next goal that I have under the the body subcategory is around improving my daily diet. I don't eat horribly, but I definitely eat inconsistent meals and I don't eat well-rounded meals whatsoever. And I would just really like to improve that by adding in some more fruits, some more vegetables, all of the standard things that we all try and keep in our daily diet that I have just definitely been lacking. And I didn't want to make that goal too specific because I just want it to be something that I'm at least way more cognizant of because it's something that I've definitely let slide and I want to improve on that in 2024. So that closes out the body subcategory. Next, we have the mind category. And this is around mental health. Mental health is so important. And it's something that I, like so many other people, have struggled with, especially over the last few years. And so I definitely wanted to make sure that I made it a subcategory so that I could really focus on it in 2024. The first goal that I have under the mind subcategory is to continue therapy. I have been in therapy for about four years now, and it's something that has really Really benefited my life. I am a very emotional person. I'm a really anxious person. And just having somebody that I can talk to that helps provide me with tools that help me really understand and accept my emotions has proved to be really, really beneficial for me. It's just something that's really helped me throughout the last few years. And I want to make sure I continue it. The next goal I have under the mind subcategory is to try journaling. I've had a really hard time trying to get into journaling over the last few years, which is funny because I used to keep a pretty consistent diary when I was young. Young. And it's kind of interesting because I feel like I can see a correlation between when I stopped having a diary or a journal to my mental health starting to decline a bit. So I just really want to try and give journaling a real shot again in 2024. I think it would be really beneficial and therapeutic for me. Okay. And as for the final subcategory within the health category, we have soul goals. And what this subcategory means to me is any type of goal or activity that really feeds my soul. And I feel like this is different than the mind and body goals because it's something that like brings me joy and it's something that I really haven't focused on over the last few years so I wanted to make sure that I cut out a little section for it to ensure that I focus on it in 2024. So the first goal that I have under
under the soul subcategory is to take singing lessons or book studio time. I am a super musical person. I grew up singing. I always did musical theater. I went to college for music and I worked on Broadway for a period of time after college. So music has always been something that just really makes me feel like me. And it's something that I've always really enjoyed. But over the last decade, it just really has not been a focus for me. And I just really want to focus on bringing that back into my life this year because it is something that just really makes me feel like myself. So I wanted to make sure I carved out a little space to just trying to incorporate music into my life a little bit more in 2024. And then as for the final goal within the soul subcategory, I want to continue creating quality YouTube content. I have loved creating videos on YouTube. It is one of the first hobbies that I've had since I graduated college that really feels authentic to me and feeds my soul in a creative way. And I just really wanted to make sure I emphasize continuing to do that in 2024. And I just think it's super important to keep any hobby in your life that brings you some type of happiness and creating video content for YouTube is something that does that for me. But okay, I think that wraps up all of my health goals for 2024. I'm going to hop in the shower and just get ready for the rest of the day and we will circle back to all of my remaining goals after that. So I'll see you back here in a bit. Okay, decided to kind of just be an overachiever and do my hair and makeup because that's just kind of the vibe I was feeling. Although I am still wearing sweatpants. We're easing into the new year outfits situation. We have a week, I feel like, until we really need to start putting on real clothes again. But okay, let's talk about career and money. So for me, just as a caveat, I do YouTube part-time. I have a full-time job working in tech. So a lot of these goals are centered around the salaried position that I have and the goals that I would like to achieve through that. So first and foremost, I need to merge my 401ks. That is the number one goal for me this year around career and money. I've been working for about 10 years now and I've had several jobs throughout that time. And at each of those jobs, I obviously had a different 401k. And over time, they just started to accrue and I've just never consolidated them. And it just makes tracking them so difficult. It makes fees higher. It, there's just a lot that goes into why you should consolidate your 401ks. And I just have been super lazy about that. And it's something that I really need to handle this year. So that is number one on my list list to just check off and accomplish by the end of this year. Next up, I want to create and stick to a food budget. I don't have many vices in this world, but food is one of them. This kind of circles back a little bit to my health goals as well around nutrition and just eating better. I order takeout way too much. I don't eat horribly, but I definitely do not make meals at home half as much as I should. I used to be so much better about this. When you live in a city, it really is just too easy sometimes, especially if you've had a long day and you just don't feel like cooking, but I am definitely someone who really needs to pull back on that spend. It's just kind of a no-brainer and it's something that I really want to focus on in 2024. Then as for the last goal under the career and money category, I want to save 15% of my income towards buying a home. My husband and I have been looking at this for a long time. Obviously the market is so crazy and we love living in the city. We honestly don't mind living in an apartment. Obviously we would love to own our own home one day, but we're not in a rush. So something that I just really want to make a focus this year is just saving, you know, a certain percentage of my income to go towards buying that future home. I don't think we're going to be buying a home anytime soon, but I just want to be ready when the time does come. So I just want to make it a focus to be saving as much as I can from my side of things. We will see though. Market's been a little crazy. So, <laughs> but okay, that closes out the career and money category. So let's move on to YouTube. I started this YouTube channel in April of 2023, and it was just a way for me to to exercise the creative muscles that I didn't feel like I was using in my day-to-day -day job. I'm a super creative person and I've just always loved storytelling through video. It's something I've done pretty much my whole life. But in terms of goals around YouTube in 2024, I had so many of them and I had to really shrink down that list just because there's so much that I wanna do with this channel and I wanna really improve on in 2024. So let's dive into some of those. The first goal that I have around YouTube in 2024 is around consistent uploads. I was pretty good at sticking to a consistent upload schedule when I first started my channel in April, but with having a pretty demanding full-time job, it just was not feasible for me to maintain that schedule. I just started to become very inconsistent with the uploads and that was something that I was really cognizant of and I just want to make sure I'm sticking to a 
much better upload schedule in 2024 and just having consistency. I'm aiming to have two uploads of long form content per month. So hold me to that if I'm not doing it. In terms of the next goal around YouTube, I want to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of 2024. I am totally shocked that I ended last year with almost 500 subscribers. Seriously, I never would have imagined that I would reach that many in like eight or nine months. So I'm super excited to be putting out more content in 2024. And I think reaching 1000 subscribers would just be a really cool milestone. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed yet, definitely feel free to hit that subscribe button and join me along my YouTube journey. <laughs> As for my final YouTube goal in 2024, I want to monetize my channel. For those of you who don't know, YouTube allows creators to monetize once they've hit certain milestones within their channel. And that essentially just allows creators to get a cut of the ad revenue that is made on a video. And that's something that I just think would be a really, really cool achievement. It's something that I've seen a lot of other creators do. And I just think it would be so cool to have a channel that's monetized and achieve that goal. And at the end of the day, I feel like what that symbolizes to me is that my content is resonating with people. That's the overarching core goal that I have is just to create high quality content that people can enjoy. And okay, I think that wraps up my YouTube goals for 2024. And I feel like I really need a snack after going through those. So let's head over to the kitchen and I'll walk you through my final goal category of 2024. I don't know if anybody else has had these before, but we find these at Whole Foods. It's this brand called Little Secrets, and it's essentially just this like dark chocolate wafer and peanut butter, and oh my gosh, they are so good. So I'm gonna have this snack while we discuss the final category for my 2024 goals, which are my life goals. <laughs> so this category is kind of a catch-all for a number of goals that I had that I didn't really feel fit into any of the other categories that I've gone through already. But first I need to have a little bite of this. That's the stuff. All right, gotta put that down. So the very first goal under my life goals for this year are to plan two more big trips. Last year, Brendan and I were super lucky to be able to go to Paris for one week. We stayed in New York City for one full month, testing out if we wanted to live there. We went to Bermuda for a long weekend, and then we did a week long West Coast trip where we went to San Francisco, Napa Valley, and Seattle. So we did a lot of traveling this past year, and I definitely wanna keep that up in the next year. So I would like to plan two bigger trips if we are so lucky. We absolutely love traveling and we are just super lucky to be able to do that. And I'm just hopeful that we can plan an additional two more trips this year. As for the next goal on my life category, I am hoping to read three books in 2024. I am not a reader. I've never been a reader. I've dabbled here and there with some books, but for the most part, I've just never been somebody that gravitates towards reading as a hobby. I just think it'd be really helpful for me to find certain book genres that I really like and be able to read those at night before bed instead of watching TV or looking on my phone. Overall, I just think it would be a really good thing to do for myself and a really great way to disconnect. I am just so super connected all the time. And I think having something that doesn't involve any type of electricity electronic or internet connection would just be super good for my mental health. So I'm really hopeful that I can pick up three books that I really like this year and complete them. If you are a book person, please, please send me some recommendations in the comments below. I have a few genres in mind, but I would just love any recommendations that you have and I will check out any of the books that you recommend. And then as for the final goal in my life category, I want to foster meaningful relationships this year. I want to be very intentional about staying connected to the people that really mean a lot to me. I want to be intentional about trying to see people that I have really strong relationships with. And that's just something I really want to focus on this year. I think it's so important to be able to maintain relationships that are important to you. And I just want to make sure that I'm fostering the relationships that bring me a lot of joy. So that is the final goal underneath my life category. And that concludes all of the goals that I have for 2024. Obviously, there's probably going to be some changes throughout the year. Things change as you go. You can never predict how a year is gonna go. So for me, I'm just trying to maintain that it's important to stay flexible and to stay accepting of whatever happens this year and to not put too much pressure on these goals. I really look at them as guidelines, as a way to just kind of continue to point me in the direction that I want my life to go. And in terms of how I plan to track these goals, I typically check in with myself at least like once a month to see how I'm doing and how I'm tracking against the goals. If I think some things need to be tweaked, if I think some things just don't make sense anymore, it's just super important to stay flexible with your 
yourself and with your goals because you just have no idea what life is going to throw at you and there are so many things that could change. But with that, I think I'm going to end this one here. Thank you so much for walking through my 2024 goals. Do you have any goals for this year? Do you set goals at all? Do you kind of just see where the year takes you? I'm dying to know if you have any New Year's traditions. So definitely feel free to comment those down below. And of course, if you liked this content, definitely feel free to give it the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I am so excited to see what this year brings and I will see you in the next one. Bye.